Hi, Jim Hebel with Bedecker Plastics. This tech talk will focus on the typical surface finishes achievable with machining plastics and how surface finishes can impact finished part cost. In other words, how smooth a finish do you need and are you willing to pay more to get that ultimate finish? Most engineers and designers want a smooth surface finish for their machined parts. They may desire a finish for dynamic moving parts that require a low coefficient of friction or they may want a surface finish that resists particulate buildup, or maybe a surface that is easier to clean. When machining metals, a smooth finish is relatively easy to achieve. With plastics, sometimes this isn't as easy. With machining plastics, the better the surface finish required, the higher your finished part cost. First, let's touch on the measurement of surface finish. A surface finish is a measurement of the roughness of a surface which is the difference between the microscopic peaks and valleys of a material surface. There are several ways that surface roughness is measured and calculated. The two most common units referenced are RA and RMS. Typically, a profilometer is used to measure these units. A profilometer is an instrument with a stylus that travels across the surface, measuring the peaks and valleys of the material surface. The only difference is how the data is calculated. RA is simply the roughness average of those peaks and valleys, while in contrast, the RMS uses a root mean square calculation of the peaks and valleys. While the RA and the RMS values are similar, and most people reference them interchangeably, the RMS technique is more susceptible to any single large peak or flaw within the texture. The lower the value, the smoother the surface finish. While the profilometer is the most common device for measuring surface finish, more exotic machines are available for quicker and more accurate measurements. For example, Bedecker Plastics utilizes a Keyence VR5000 3D measurement system. This machine uses structured light and the distortion in those light bands and triangulation measurements to instantly measure the height and differences on the surface of even the most complex parts. This machine enables fast, accurate surface measurements for simple parts and even for highly contoured parts that would otherwise be difficult to measure. With plastics, to achieve the very best surface finish, a shop must use proper techniques for machining the plastics, but for lower RA and lower RMS values, they will almost always require added machining time or even post-machining operations like buffing and polishing. This extra time and attention will add cost to your machine components. So while you want a good surface finish for your application, being too aggressive with your callout can dramatically raise the price of your finished part. Here at Bedecker Plastics, we typically achieve a minimum of 63 RMS surface finish with no extra effort. For most customer applications, a 63 RMS finish is more than sufficient. With a 63 finish, you may see some light machining marks and be able to lightly feel them, like the tiniest grooves of a record as you drag your fingernail across the surface. If your application requires a smooth, smoother finish than 63 and you have this called out on your print, some machine shops will start to charge a premium. However, because Bedecker Plastics uses the proper machining techniques for polymers, including the right tooling, ideal machine feeds and speeds, and the use of coolant, we can often guarantee a surface finish of 32 RMS with little extra effort. A 32 RMS features is very smooth and the machining marks will be tough to see with the naked eye. It may even be challenging to feel the machining grooves when you run your fingernail across the surface. A 32 RMS finish is typically more than enough for the most critical wear applications to provide excellent performance results. For the untrained eye, side by side, a 63 and a 32 RMS surface finish may be difficult to tell apart in some materials. It's not until you zoom in will you be really able to see the difference. And be aware that calling out a surface finish less than 32 RMS for plastics will require that extra time and attention for the machinist. Post-machining activities like buffing and polishing will most likely be needed to reduce that RMS further. A 16 RMS finish is possible for the most advanced thermoplastics with added buffing. 
Even an 8 RMS is possible, but likely your shop will not be able to guarantee such a fine finish. And be aware that the lower your RMS call out, the more your machine shop will tend to charge you. If you can live with a 63 or even a 32 RMS finish, this would be ideal from a machinist perspective and probably won't cost you extra money. If you have questions about the proper machine surface finish for your plastic application and what can be achieved for your material and your design, Bedecker Plastics can help. Reach out and speak to one of our technical service representatives and we'll be happy to assist. Please feel free to add your comments below, like and share this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.